Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for taking time to join us today. Uh, Emily and I are very excited to share information with you about API, or Academic Programs International. My name is Jason Koba, and I'm the Associate Vice President for University Partnerships at API. I work primarily with our partner institutions in the central portion of the country, but we are excited to welcome you wherever you may be joining us from today. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Nagel and I'm a Regional Director for University Relations and Outreach at API. I was actually an API student myself. I studied in Sicily with API and before that a year in Florence. And I've now been working with API for five years as well, but based in New England. And we wanted to kick this session off to get excited with this video that gives you a snapshot of API. So we hope you enjoyed that little video, which again, just gives you a brief introduction to what we're going to talk about today. So before we get started with the bulk of the presentation, I did just want to give you a little bit of background information about who API is as an organization. We were founded over 22 years ago by the four women you see in this picture here, who we affectionately refer to as our founding mothers, uh, which really does set the tone of who API is an as an organization. As you see here, we have the mission to deliver and design uh, international experiences that inspire learning, enrich students, partners, and communities. And it truly has been the driving force of who we are as an organization. We send about 4,000 students abroad uh, every year. Uh, and so we're shifting a little bit into a virtual space, which we'll talk about. But I wanted to play just a really, really brief bit of a snapshot of one of our founding mothers sharing some information about uh, her views on where the company came from. At API, my co-founders and I refer to ourselves as the founding mothers. And this is for a good reason. We wanted to create programs we would want our own children to go on. We keep this perspective present during all phases of development of our programming, from picking safe locations and choosing caring and compassionate resident directors to keeping our costs as low as possible while trying to include as many educational and cultural activities for our students to create full experience. So that's just kind of a little bit of a blurb about who we are and what we were founded on in terms of the principles of who we are as an organization. So, just to give you a bit of a snapshot here, kind of an overview, we're gonna cover a variety of different opportunities that we have today. Um, so we're gonna focus on our study abroad experiences, which you can see a list of countries here. And we're gonna talk a little bit about our international internship experiences, and then we're gonna talk about our virtual program. So those are the kind of the three main areas that we're gonna be discussing a little bit. But as you can see, we've got a wide range of different opportunities and placement of areas available. So uh, let's get started. So first we wanted to talk about API's traditional study abroad programs because these are how API began. They're really at the heart of API and we've been sending students abroad for more, more than 20 years now. We have programs in over 20 countries around the world where we partner with accredited institutional partners 
And one of my favorite parts about API is our amazing global support staff. In all of our international locations, API has highly qualified and experienced staff members who are available to you throughout your entire program, whether it's on-site or even virtual. These staff members all speak English, most are locals of the host country, and they all have amazing insight into the local hope local culture. In a traditional study abroad program, the global staff members support you from the moment you arrive in the airport through adjusting to the local culture, to adapting to your host institution, and they're available 24-7 for any emergency support. Uh, the next opportunity we want to touch on are our on-site international internship experiences. So internship experiences for API have been around for several years now, and these are really a great area for students to get some practical, real world life experience, because um, it's a little bit of a different focus than a traditional study abroad experience. Uh, our on-site internship experiences are full-time internship placements, and they're gonna be conducted over a period of typically eight weeks, oftentimes over the summer, uh, but we do have options for as short as six weeks or a longer term if you're interested in something of that nature. The way the internship programs work is that each placement is tailored to individual students. So what I mean by that is we don't have a list of internships that you pick and apply for, but rather what we do is we talk to you about what kind of an experience you want to have while you're abroad, and then we go out and design and, and identify that internship experience for you. So it really helps us be able to place students in virtually any academic discipline and really meet the needs that you have and combine your personal and professional desires into one really cool experience. Along with the internship experience itself, you'll have access to a variety of different materials from the pre-departure side, as well as once you're on site. So we're gonna provide you with a lot of great support ahead of time to get you ready for your experience some skills tests and things of that nature to get you thinking about setting goals and what you want to get out of the experience. And then once you arrive on site, we're gonna provide a workplace and culture orientation to let you know what it's like to live or work in a different place. You've already looked at this a little bit before you go, but once you're there, it'll kind of all come piece together. Uh, we're going to provide housing for you, just as you would on any of our international experiences, as well as health insurance. And then once again, those amazing resident directors and global support staff that Emily just mentioned are going to be part of the internship experience for you too. They're there to help you throughout the course of the internship, to help you navigate any kind of challenges that you may be having, any communication barriers, or just to help give you insight and information about how to make the most of your experience. You're also going to have access to the API Connect platform, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But this is a really cool virtual workspace that we've designed to really enhance all of the different experiences that we have to offer. And then throughout the experience, you have internship placement oversight. So again, your staff, your resident directors are there to help you throughout the experience. And you have people at your internship placement that are there to help you as well. So you're working with professionals both on site as well as through the API program. So next we wanted to talk about our virtual programs and we know it's not the same as traveling internationally to study or intern abroad, but they are really an excellent way to still gain global experience, even if it's, if it's from your home. So the first virtual program that I wanted to discuss is our global select program. And to create this opportunity, we've collaborated with some of our top institutional partners around the world to offer a wide variety of academic opportunities. And one of the greatest features of this program is its flexibility. There are more than 2,500 courses available across disciplines, and you could take anywhere between one and six courses. There are also six pre-designed tracks that, that can help you more easily narrow down courses in your field of study. We also have two really exciting labs, our Innovation Lab and our Community Engagement Lab. And using the API Connect platform that Jason mentioned, you can collaborate with other students in a team of four to six. In the Innovation Lab, you would work together to formulate creative business solutions to global challenges. And in the Community Engagement Lab, you'll work together to come up with an action plan for community engagement to support a community-based organization locally with a global perspective. Finally, we also have virtual global internship opportunities, and this gives you the chance to gain work experience with an international organization from home. These placements are available both part-time or full-time, so you could even do a virtual internship during your normal semester on your home campus. Placements are available across a wide variety of fields, including business, economics, marketing, and a lot more, and you would have the opportunity to earn academic credit if you would like to. 
So I've mentioned it a couple of different times throughout the presentation as well as Emily did, and that's our API Connect virtual learning space. So what the API Connect platform is, is uh, uh, the merger of technology and education. So you'll see a video playing in the bottom of the screen, and this is our colleague Matteo, who is teaching us how to speak Italian without actually saying anything. Um, and this is an example of some of the content that you would find in the API Connect uh, platform. Uh, it's a community space where students who are participating in our virtual experiences, but also those that are participating in our on-site experiences, have the opportunity to go to connect with one another, to connect with locals, and to engage in a variety of different cultural experiences. The benefit of the API Connect platform is that you have access to it anytime you want. So if you want to learn about a cooking class or attend an event or see what happened in the uh, graffiti tour in Chile, you have a lot of opportunity to, to visit those, um, those programs and to see those different things anytime you want. There's also live events that are hosted through the platform as well. So it's not just recorded videos, but some of our amazing cultural guides and resident directors will host live events like pub trivia night or um, uh, music nights, meeting a different band in Salamanca. So there's a lot of different opportunities for students to connect in this space. Um, this is also the place where you're going to earn your digital badges. Whether you're participating in a virtual space or an on-site program, uh, the, the API Connect platform is where you're going to complete all the different activities to help you earn those digital badges, which are things that our employers are going to be looking for. It can help you showcase the skills and things that you learned during your time abroad or in a virtual space with API. So it's a great opportunity to enhance your resume, build your LinkedIn portfolio, and really, really make the most of your experience in a tangible way. One of the most important things that we really want you to remember from this session is that API will really be there for you every step of the way. This list that you can see here highlights the many things that are included in an API program, including housing, tuition, excursions for the on-site international programs. And as you heard in the clip from one of the founding mothers, Julie, it's important to API to include as much as possible in your program so that you have the best experience possible. We also want to mention that API does recognize the financial need of our students and we still, even though we try to keep our costs as low as possible, we still also try to offer scholarship funding as much as we possibly can. So we provide funding in um, annual scholarships, uh, at approximately $500,000 per year. And so these scholarships can range anywhere from $250 to $1,000 per student, depending on the term and the cost of the program. Uh, application process for these is that once you're uh, accepted into an API program, you'll have access to the API scholarship application, which is on our website, and you can apply based on a lot of different factors. There's um, STEM scholarships, first generation student scholarships, diversity scholarships, student athlete scholarships, plus just scholarships based on where you're going. So there's a lot of different scholarships that can meet all the different needs of our students. The deadlines are listed here, but they're also available on our website as well. So when I was an API student, one of my absolute favorite things were the cultural events that are included in the cost of the program. So during those on-site programs, you can participate in cooking classes, museum tours, or go to local sporting events. And like Jason mentioned, in the virtual programs, there are cultural events in there too, like the graffiti tour in Chile or live music events and things like that. And these are really meant to help you engage more fully in the local culture or in a different culture if you're doing a virtual program. They really help you to see things from a different perspective and learn more even about yourself and your own culture. I loved the cultural events because I could even go to places in Italy that I was learning about in my classes and see and experience these things that I was learning in real life. Kind of going off of that as well, another benefit of an on-site experience are the excursions that you get to participate in as part of your API program. So included with every API program fee for on-site programs are uh, different tri trips and excursions that are built into your program. So API is going to arrange the entrance fee, the transportation, um, and make sure that you're prepared to have the most, ex uh, the best experience possible during these day events that are taking place. So they're meant to help broaden your experience outside of the classroom, kind of like Emily was mentioning with the cultural events and excursions, this is another version of that. It's just maybe a little bit longer of an event. So whereas a cultural event may be a couple of hours, these are gonna be day trips that you're gonna take. You're gonna spend a uh, great bit of time learning about the different locations that you're visiting, why it's important and why it's an important part of the program with this. So these are just a couple of examples that you see here of um, uh, 
trips and excursions that are part of our semester program in Granada, Spain, um, but you'll get to see that there's a lot of different options in all the different locations. So you get to make the most of your experience, both in the city that you're studying in, but also a little bit outside of that as well. So all of the API programs on site will include housing and safety is the number one consideration for API when selecting your accommodations. The options that you have will vary depending on the location that you choose. You could stay with a host family in a dorm or an apartment. Host families are really a great way to experience the local culture firsthand, but also some of the dorms might let you live with local students. And there's lots of options. Some provide meals, some would have kitchens. It all depends on the location that you choose and the option that you choose. All equally great experiences depending on what your goals for your experience are. And my favorite part about staying with the host family was sitting around the dinner table, practicing my Italian language skills, and really feeling like I was a part of the culture, like I was a local. So that was my favorite part of my housing experience. I lived with the host family too, and it was one of my favorite parts as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the things that I like most about uh, the way our API programs are designed is a program that we have called API Gives Back. And API Gives Back is an initiative that we started to help our students have the opportunity to say thank you to the local communities in which they lived and learned during their time abroad. So what we've done is um, work with our local staff to work with local community-based organizations to find opportunities for students to contribute in a meaningful way, to say thank you to the local community for hosting them and for sharing their, their culture and for sharing their time with them. So typically these are um, single days of service that are available for students to participate in. Students do have the option typically to participate in all volunteer experiences throughout the course of their program, but this is kind of more of a single event that's meant to be an ongoing project for students to help while they're there. So uh, we've provided some examples here. A lot of our programs are, are um, the API Gives Back projects are devoted to environmental sustainability. So several of the programs you'll see, such as beautification of beach projects in Italy, preservation of salt mines or salt marshes in Spain, or um, working within a community mural project in, in Cuba or working with an orphanage in Costa Rica. So these are just some examples of projects that, that are part of the API um, Gives Back program. But it's one of my favorite aspects of the program because it really gives students a chance to connect with locals uh, because these are local organizations that we're working with to produce these projects. So before we wrap up, we wanted to take a moment to address that we are doing everything possible to take the proper precautions in regards to COVID for upcoming on-site programs. As you all are well aware, this is a constantly evolving situation. So at API, we're continuing to monitor all of the news outlets and information. We're constantly working to make sure that we will only run programs when it is safe to do so and to make sure that they are as safe as possible. So just know that if you do go abroad with API, we will make sure it's a safe experience for you. And if the world does not allow or you're not comfortable, we do hope that you will take advantage of the virtual program so that you can still find a way to have a global experience. So with that in mind, that's all we have for you today. We would really like to thank you very much for your attention and for being part of this presentation. Um, we do have a couple of links here on the website. First of all, I wanna draw your attention to our uh, website that we've designed specifically for fairs for the virtual fair season. So it's gonna be apiabroad.com forward slash fairs. Um, so you can go there to get a lot of information and find more details about the things that Emily and I touched on today. And then also feel free to send an email to api at apiabroad.com and any questions you might have, if you'd like to reach out to someone, someone can get in touch with you. So we're happy to, to speak with you and answer any questions that you may have. But we'd really like to thank you again for being part of this today. Uh, I know it's a, a virtual space. I know it's a different year. We wish you all the best and we hope that you all have a wonderful term wherever you may be. So thank you so much again for attending. Thank you, everyone.